Howdy groupies, this is Mark from Groupable. Today we're going to learn how to add a historical record for a past office that one of your members has held. Not a current office. Current offices are all managed by your parent group and so those need to go through your parent organization. This is if someone did something in the past and you want to make sure that it appears on their record. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in here and we land on our typical local dashboard which has my list of members. I'm just going to take someone off the list here and I'm going to go over here to the plus sign and let's say that this person was say like an assistant lecturer for the organization here. Right here I've got my full list of the different offices that are available within your particular organization and for this one we're going to say he was an assistant grand lecturer and so it knows that that's a district level office so I'm going to get the drop down list of the different districts and I'm going to pick one of those there and you could say what year he was let's say he was from 2000 and he served until 2002 you can do that there click save that's going to add it to his record now if I go over here and I expand his office's history here, we'll see that that's on there. We've got that assistant grand lecture from 2000 to 2002 in the first Eastern. You'll notice here that these are not system managed offices because it's not one he's currently serving, which means that you could delete it. You could also edit it and change it. And that's how you go ahead and add those information to your members records that's missing for that historical stuff that they've done in the past. 